This is the first annual Big Idaho Potato Harvest Meeting. We're excited to have over 300 industry members here today, and we're looking forward to uh, have an opportunity to communicate some of the very important issues that are facing our industry, but also to reinforce just how important the premium, genuine Idaho brand is. When people think about Idaho, they automatically think about potatoes, and that's really good. We've done a really good job with that. But when they think about Idaho potatoes, they instantly think about quality, and so we need to make sure that we're maintaining that high quality mark all the time. One of the major roles the Commission has is to lead. And sometimes we have to lead in areas that are delicate, that are, that are challenging, that are difficult to discuss. Quality is a great example of that. We're all engaged in this through the policies, the regulations that are set forth to try to maintain a minimum quality, at the same time working with growers and shippers and processors to make sure we achieve the highest quality because this is what, it, what consumers and customers expect of the Idaho Potato brand. And it's great for it to be heard by the growers, by the shippers, by the processors to come here and fully understand everything that we're doing to use the seal to all of our benefits and to move the great product that we just got done harvesting. I think we need to look at them as shareholders. They're all part of an 80 year history of of um, commitment and lifetimes of work to develop a brand. It was a goal of mine to see Idaho put together a grower meeting that we could attract them and have something valuable for them that would help them see what we're doing for them. Well, there's some things that a shipper knows that the grower doesn't know, and there's a lot of things the grower knows that the shipper doesn't know. And then same with the IPC, I think they learn from the shipper and the grower. So I think bringing all the knowledge together is just bound to make us a better industry. We're now shipping fresh out of potatoes to over 20 countries around the world. 14 years ago, we weren't shipping to any. I wish every grower in Idaho could experience it because whenever I travel, I try to wear a logo shirt so they know where I'm from and what I do, and, and people see that. And they, they always recognize the fact that I love potatoes, and I love Idaho, and oh, you're from Idaho, you must grow potatoes. And, and it's a real privilege and blessing to me to be able to say, yeah, I'm a real Idaho potato farmer. One of the great benefits of, of being here in the state of Idaho as we've had state leadership that has been very pro-agriculture in the past years. And we want to continue to see that, that move forward in the future. And so we've invited the major uh, candidates for governor for the state of Idaho to come speak to our industry members today to give us a, a glimpse of what their, what their vision is for the future, particularly as it relates to agriculture and even more specifically as it relates to the, the Idaho potato business. One of the uh, changes we've made to what we did in the Whistle Stop Tour as we've invited the representatives of the national organizations to also participate because now it's an all-day event where in the past it, it was like a two-hour event. Because it's an all-day event, uh, we've invited uh, John Keeling from the National Potato Council, Blair Richardson and Kimber Shears from Potatoes USA to come give their perspective of what's going on on a national level and how they can leverage the programs that we're doing in Idaho and how of course we can leverage what the national organizations are doing as well. I'm going to introduce a gentleman who understands challenges and not being discouraged by challenges but meeting them head on. We're also going to invite an inspirational speaker each year. Uh, the speaker today is somebody that I met just a few years ago. His name is Corey Pewterbaugh and he is a silver medalist from the Rio Paralympic Games in what's, what's fondly called murder ball. It's also called wheelchair rugby. It's the only full contact sport in Paralympics. He was the youngest member on the, on the US Paralympic team. They went against Australia in the gold medal match and it went into double overtime where the US lost by one point. And Corey himself scored 10 points in that game alone. He was the youngest member on the team. He's an inspiration. He was born in Poland, uh, has without hands, without, without feet and yet he has demonstrated no matter what limitations are placed upon somebody, you can bust through those limitations, you can achieve greatness, and Corey will be a great inspiration for all us to hear from today. It's important that with the limited dollars that the Commission has, that every dollar is spent as most effectively and efficiently as we possibly can. Warren. Idols, potatoes. You got it, yeah. So it's a challenge. How do we help people know everything we're doing? 
Some of the creative things we've done has become the title sponsor of what used to be the Humanitarian Bowl. Now it's a famous Idaho Potato Bowl played in Albertson Stadium. What could be more creative than a bowl game called Potato Bowl played in a grocery store? That's leverage. If we now drop an 18-foot potato in front of Idaho's capital where 30 to 40,000 people come to watch in single-digit weather. And people are coming not only around the country to see this, but around the world. And we get national pickup from that. Again, leverage. We celebrated our 75th anniversary nearly six years ago by sending out a six-ton potato truck around the country. Well, it became a part of Americana. It's part of pop culture now. And so we can't take they take the truck off the road. It, in fact, I've said that truck's going to keep rolling until the wheels fall off. People love to see it, and it's one of those iconic things you'll never forget where you were when you saw the Idaho potato truck. Another thing we've done recently is worked with Lamb Weston, who's launching a first ever 100% grown in Idaho product referred to as grown in Idaho. And it's going to be a full line of frozen products that will communicate exactly the same messages that are, that are fresh. Idaho Potato Commission advertising communicates. So that's another way in which we're leveraging our, our dollars is working with organizations that are spending their dollars to communicate pretty much the same thing we are. And in fact, they're using the same actor, the potato grower, in their commercials that we use in ours. And so, again, we're leveraging everything we do. So what's next? Well, we've, we, when I first got here, we, we brought on Denise Austin who for 10 years promoted that our potatoes were, were, were healthy and should be part of a balanced diet. Now we've brought on the American Heart Association certifying idle potatoes as heart healthy. Now we have other organizations and other very credible people like Dr. Oz saying that potatoes should be part of your diet. And so we've come a long way to establishing that potatoes are healthy and they should be part of, the, of, of your diet. We also support organizations like Rod's Racing, which is an organization that stands for Racing for Orphans with Down Syndrome. We've helped raise funds to adopt children from around the world to come to the U.S. who have Down Syndrome. And one of the biggest challenges for people to, to adopt special needs children is funding. And so we're working with elite athletes who pay $1,000 to wear the Rod's jersey and who run long distance races to support and raise funds for these children to be adopted here in America. We've now raised funds that, that's allowed 31 children to be adopted. And I myself just a year, year ago ran my first full marathon, 26.2 miles, in celebration of wearing my Rod's jersey. And it was, I'm proud to be able to be part of that. And that's an example of how we're gonna continue to move forward, is how do you leverage what we do in a way that emotionally connects with your consumer. Rod's connects very emotionally with consumers. When they hear about our program, how we're supporting part of our funds going to Rod's to help these children be adopted here, they say, I would pay a dollar more or more for an idle potato, bag of idle potatoes, if I knew you were doing that. Well, we just keep making a better product as we go along. And as we work together, our product just becomes better and we become stronger. And then the people in the United States can count on the best potato that they can buy is from Idaho.